<sighs> Hello, bud. This is Little James. Today is uh, I think today's the twentieth of uh, August, two thousand and fifteen. I decided to do another vlog. I'm gonna start calling these video blogs from now on. Uh, this time, just let anybody know I'll be, um, relocating, moving. I had to give you the story on that when I was with, uh, one of the care companies, uh, North Shore Taxi, uh, based in PB, Massachusetts. Um, the last few months before I, uh, was forced to resign, um, the company was, you know, f was in financial um, trouble. Was having problems with financial situations. At that time, I was making videos of me driving the cab, and there were times that I end up um, being in the cab two, three, sometimes, mostly two times a week, sometimes once a week. That I'll be in the cab, and one thing when you drive a cab is you have a schedule. So basically, if you're on that schedule, you shouldn't be um, forced to take time off. But they were, they had a lot of cars um, down and start having to fix them with, you know, with the financial situation. So I was in trouble, you know, paying my rent for. May and June of this year, 2015. And then um, the 28th or 29th of June, I had my uh, scare when my tire of my cab fell off on Route 1 North Sargas. Um, it was done when everybody's going into Boston, so I... Lost my tire and I scared the crap out. I've been driving the cab for over three years. I never had my tire fell off like that. Shows you that how much the company has cars that are like, um, you know, not what really double, but anyway, that was the day when I was judged by a jury and I was executioned. Um all the time when my boss found out that he I was making videos basically on my one of my vlogs I said uh there's some things that that wasn't needed to be said about the computer system and then the um way the cars are and the cabs are I, I drove in crap cars before, though, but and having some guys who can't fix the cabs good enough, and uh, you know, so he wasn't happy. I took the videos off, but then I ended up being forced to get out of the equation too. So I became jobless and home uh, jobless. Um, I'm getting close to being homeless now, though, but like I said, I have a job, uh, then July, wait a minute, did I actually, yeah, then July, I came jobless, trying to find a job and stuff, um, so, like I say, my roommate asked me, either, you know, either pay the rent or quit, I'll have a job, and my church was able to help me out with that month went. I now have a job. I am uh, back in the seat again, back in the saddle, driving the cab. And then this month went, I tried to, you know, get do all my best I can, but I guess my roommate couldn't uh, take, but take me uh, being late on my went. So, um, hold on. So I ended up, sorry, I ended up getting um, this notice to 
to vacate. I did a sign that I, even though I want to um, have someone who's a lot more responsible, but it's not my fault the company fucked me over. Um, it's not my fault that happened. Uh, shit happens. Uh, she did the best I, she could to, you know, work with me, but I guess it got to the point when, where I, um, I couldn't take it anymore. So I'm asked to leave. So my social worker's helping me out. Um, I let my, ch my church know, but I didn't have to talk to anyone in death Sunday, which make it difficult for me to say, you know, is this church there for me or should I just spend my will somewhere else? But anyway, um, so the 31st will be the last day for me here. I have no idea where I'll be going. I'm still looking. I, ha I might be going to PBD. It's hard to say right now because I'm still looking. I'm still calling. My social worker's working with me. Um... I've been in a situation where you drive a cab and it's difficult trying to pay the bill. And I've been forced to um, relocate a few times. And I, people say, oh, you need to work. It's not my fault that you drive a cab. There are times when you drive a cab, you don't make nothing. And there are times when you don't have a cab to get into. You can't make money, so that, that company wasn't one of the best company. I know some drivers say, oh, no, sure, it's the best company ever. Bullshit. The other time, the owner would um, give the drivers, you know, gift cards, like fit it out, gift card. There was one time the owner had a Christmas party. I didn't go, I don't feel like being around people, even on my job, but... Um, even though the owner did uh, help help me pay for my rides in, but most of the times I will have to pay the driver full price. There's a time where the drivers will help each other out. You get the driver half the fare, that's it. But now I have to give, well, with no sure, you get, I give them all like the full fare, which is shit. And now they went up on the prices and they also, um, went up so a lot of times the way things work is some companies you they'll charge you you they'll charge you okay you pay sixty dollars to lease a cab uh, some companies will do 50 50 you give them 50 you keep 50 plus give them five dollars to lease the cab uh 60 40 split and also you pay the company by mouth well, like I said, I think earlier this year they went to 50 cents a mile, then later on 60 cents a mile, and now 70 cents a mile. So they, the drivers, and it's ridiculous. I've been driving a over three years. I know when the company does that, they raise the lease ups a lot of times to make up on the cabs they uh, lost, but at that time he's doing out of desperation, so he don't want to lose the company, but. Like I say, he's losing customers, you know, and losing customers, so the company I work for now try to say taxi. We're starting to get customers coming from North Shore, so um, not a good company to work for. Anyway, I will be moving the end of this month. The place I would, put, where I would go may not have internet access, so I have to find a way to... um. Get internet access if I need a hot a mobile hotspot or use my phone as a hotspot. Which the highest you can get on a Boost mobile phone is um, ten dollars for two gigabytes, which is crap. But anyway, I'll have to work on getting a new uh, plan. Anyway, I'm not gonna let this thing fuck me over. I even have a job, but there's no way of negotiating. But I'm, I'll be okay, guys. So anyway, I will still between now and the end of this month. I will still make videos. Uh, tomorrow I'll be doing another one. Uh, feel free to fit in my channel, subscribe. If you like this video, hit the like button in the ball. See what happens. Lil James signing off.